Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the 5 APIs that you can use with your shortcuts starting from easy to medium and then hard. The first thing I want you to do is you need to download an app called JSON. This app is optional but when you call an API your data is gonna look much clearer. We will start with the first one calling a random API using cat as a service API. I'm gonna start with going in my shortcuts and I made a separate folder called 5 APIs. I'm going to make a new shortcut. I'm gonna name it get random cat API. Next thing I'm gonna search URL and then put the URL in which is https semicolon slash slash cat aas dot com dash cat which is cat as a service dot com slash cat now i'll select onto the get content of url and as you can see it is getting a get request and there's no special requirements i'm gonna go ahead and press play and allow it and as you can see there's a cat there you can maximize it and see it in full screen and then you can save it from there as well if you want to and you can save it to the photo album every time it gives you an image so when i run it this time it's gonna get me the cat photo and then save it to my recent album so that's it for the first one this shortcut is going to help us get the coffee photos every time we run it we'll make a new shortcut and then search for url and then into the link i'm gonna put https semicolon dash dash coffee dot alex flip dot dive slash random and then you get the contents of the url once you run it you need to allow for permissions and then we wait you'll get a nice coffee picture now you can save this one i'm gonna run it again yep so you can save this one or save it to the photo album it's up to you and then i will name it a meaningful name like get coffee api so next time if i need to run it i know which one it is number three on our list is cat facts we'll make a new shortcut and then search for the url once we click on the url then we type the url address and then we just want to click on the get contents of the url once we do that we'll run it allow for all the permissions and then we'll get the message says cats can drink i'm gonna rename it and name it something meaningful which is meow facts api so next time you call it you're gonna know that as well number four on the list is github api this one is not too bad we're just gonna get the details of the user and then filter their location so in order to do that you need to create a new shortcut and then name it github api search for the url and then you enter the url in this one after the users whatever you type is the username of the user on github so in this case it's my username but here you can have your username as well if you want once you're done with that click onto the get contents of the url as you can see i didn't put anything here still getting a get request nothing else i'm gonna allow onto the permissions and then you can see all the data here now the reason i ask you to download the json app is to make this simpler so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna type into the search bar json and then i'm gonna click on prettify json what it's gonna do is it's gonna take the results and put it in a nicely json format so as you can see here it's very clear it's not as bad as it was before and then we're gonna get this location here which is melbourne so we need to remember the location so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on to the search bar and type get dictionary value and then you're gonna click on to the dictionary value and what it's saying is what value of the key do you want so in this case i want the location so i'm gonna run it now again and then get the value which is melbourne okay this one is a little bit hard what we are trying to do is give the word to the dictionary api and it's going to give us the results back once we run it so to start with 
I'm going to create a new shortcut. I'm going to call it dictionary API. Search for URL and then enter the URL for this one. Hello is the word that we are giving to the dictionary. So you can write any English word as well. Once you finish with that, click on to the get contents of the URL. Click run and then allow the permissions. And then now you see the format is still unreadable. So we'll go again and get our JSON, prettify JSON it, get the results and prettify it using that. Now it is getting much clearer if you can see. In this one, I want to get audio. And where is audio? Using the phonetics, I need to get the audio. So what I need to do here is I need to get the value again. So get dictionary value. What value do you want to get? I want to get the phonetics value. Once I run this one again, you can see I have three options here. If you see underneath, there's three dots. That means I've got three values, but I only want one value. So what I need to do is I need to go into the search and search for get item from list. Now from here, our list is the dictionary value and we want the first item. Once we click on this one, now the key that we want the value of is audio. All we need to do now is get the dictionary value and then enter audio in it and then run the shortcut. Now here I got the URL of the audio, but to play the audio, you search for play sound and click onto the play sound into the parameters here under the sound file. You're going to click onto the choose variable and choose the last one, which is what the URL is. Once you run the shortcuts, you have to allow the permissions in order for it to play sound. Hello. So thank you everyone. I hope this video was clear. If you want any other videos, please comment down below. Thank you.